Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What is going on guys? This is Tyler the Jeep Guy, and in this video, we're going racing. Now yours started in 2009. They had one race and they were racing in Montana. After that, it exploded and now they have four races and five different classes. In this video, we're gonna be following our friends in the stock class, the Nacho Race Team and Into Debt, D-E-B-T, Denver, Erickson, Brandon, Ty. Uh, we're gonna follow them around for their race and then you and I are gonna jump into Austin Pyatt's car and we're gonna be racing as well all right so we're catching up with into debt which if you haven't put it together is, is denver erickson which is hiding over there brandon which is hiding there and and me and so this is our team's cherokee so tell us a little bit about it one i kind of want to go over where did this come from uh came from a field basically uh-huh at jason Pauley's house yeah so twisted customs had this sitting out in a field and these guys saw it and was like, we should race this. <laughs> well, so it was between this and a, a two door. Yeah. Yep. The two door and didn't have an engine. It did not. So what all have we done to this over stock to get ready for this race? Right now we're running two shocks per corner. We've done a front and rear truss on the axle, uh, brown dog motor mounts and shout out brown dog, shout out brown dog and a full cage. Okay. We also did unibody stiffeners. Yeah, and unibody stiffeners. Yep, my jaw is still sore from chewing all that bubble gum to stick those stiffeners to the frame. So, but they're on there. Uh, how's look the, at the welds. Yeah. How's the Jeep felt for the first two races? Because this is the third race here in Sturgis, it felt right? Really good. Yeah. Um, the last race, Broadview, was complete shock failure at the end, but it was still going. Yeah. So. Well, cool. Well, wish you guys luck for this one. I'll be watching from the sidelines. Let's go check in with Austin. Let's go track him down. All right, this is Austin Pyatt with PT Racing, and he's gonna be who we're co-driving for today at the Sturgis race. So Austin, tell us a little bit about your Wrangler. So this is a 1998 Jeep Wrangler. Um, I originally traded my four-door JK for it, actually. Uh, it didn't look like this at all. Um, it already had the tons, so it's a 78, 79, uh, F350, front axle. Uh, rear's a 14 volt, the usual 9906. Uh, 538 gears, Yukon lockers. Um, and then basically from there, we did a, a tube um, back half in the rear as well as the front. Added the bypasses, hydraulic pump stops, whatnot. Um, it's a 111 inch wheelbase. Uh, it's got a 4.6 Strucker, X15 Trans, and then a 4.3 Atlas. Awesome. How do you think we're going to do today? Uh, we can do all right. I yeah. think some of the trophy truck guys are definitely gonna fly by us, but we'll keep, we'll keep up if we can. Heck yeah. Well, let's, let's get out there. Heck yeah. All right, guys, this is Thomas with the Nacho Race Team, and this year his co-driver is Edgar. You guys remember him from last year in the Ram Charger. So Thomas, what big changes have you made to this truck for this year's race? So basically the, the truck did so well last year, the biggest change is in, within me trying to be a faster driver. Cool. Trying to pick up speed. We did make uh, some engine changes, but that's more for the mid 400 that I have to run a carburetor instead of a fuel injection. So I'm gearing myself up for that change. But awesome. other than that, the truck is the same as last year. Cool. Feels good. You think you're going to have a great time out there today? I think so. We, we were playing with tire pressures yesterday and we went up a little bit just to make sure we don't uh, pop a bead. Cool. Well, we'll see you guys out on the track. Great. Talk to you later, Thomas. Yeah, thank you. All right, with us co-driving for Austin in this race, um, how he has this set up, that's, that's really it. So all I'm going to be doing is counting laps, and because I can't count past 10, especially under stress, I went ahead and just made these little pull tabs. So every time we complete a lap, we got to do 12 laps. I'll just pull it off the bar, and uh, that way I can I can keep track of what lap we're on so it's gonna be hot today and I don't know how much I'm looking forward to that but either way it's still gonna be fun it's dusty but we're gonna jump over I think our friends and the nacho race team and into debt are about to go race so we're gonna go set up and get some video of them 
Ready to get moving out of the heat. <laughs> So we're getting geared up. We're about to start our part of the race, which is the pro and the unlimited class. So there is a couple rigs. Uh, they got a, a little bit more horsepower than us, but Austin's gonna lap them. He's gonna lap them all, dude. We're putting it out there. <laughs> but we got this. So uh, we're just waiting for UTVs to finish up, and then I think we're starting last, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> But not least, the 8008 of Austin Pyatt with Ty Brown riding shotgun in that 1998 Jeep Wrangler out of Box Elder, South Dakota. So this isn't too far for him to travel to get here. He probably even gets to go home to his own bed tonight. But it looks like we've got Tommy Dykstra. He's getting a little western coming out of there heading up that hill, but he is absolutely flying.
Austin Pyatt grabs the checkered flag for first place in the pro class. All right, I don't know how much in-car footage I was able to get because you guys died pretty quick in there, but um, we made all 12 laps. The Jeep did great. We had some fuel issues towards the last two or three laps, uh, but we finished and I have a strong hunch that we finished first, but we'll wait to find that out at the award ceremony tonight. Until then, I'm gonna go get some food. So I'll catch you guys at the awards. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thomas placed second in the Nacho Race Team. Our Into Debt Team placed third in the Stock Mod class. Lonnie took home the trophy, once again, a local guy. And then in the pro class, our boy Austin and I got first. Austin, an incredible job driving and the Jeep held up awesome. We had some fuel issues towards the end, but that Jeep pushed through and we took ourselves home a win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you already know the drill. Get on out there and keep on Jeeping on. Down so smooth though. That's good. Oh, that's a good one. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, whoops. <clears throat>